Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And it's Pete J. And we're still here in the great city of Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, enjoying the warmth, but uh, boy, we could use a win, man. Yes, we certainly could. The uh, The season is slowly dwindling to an end here, and uh, the B-Wolves are hard-pressed to get any runs. Actually, no, they scored eight in the last game, but uh, again, to no avail, it still was an L. Yeah. Yeah, well, t we got we got the water bolts in town for two. The, the four out of our next five games, as they're showing up on the calendar here, are going to be divisional games. So that's that does mean a lot to us coming down the line. We got to start winning here. But as you can see, yeah, we lost three straight. You know, funny thing about our scoring, like we had 14 runs against those the buzzards there, and then we beat the sirloins, and then it and then we fell off the board. Nothing against the platypus. Pipe. One against the nemesis. Finally, we get eight runs against the outlaws, and then we get beat still. Yeah, we lose it. Let's talk about it real quick. I don't want to take too long about it. Uh, things to start off in the bottom of the third. Handley Dexterous and come up for the B-Wolves. Get things started for us by hitting a home run. Out over center field. Handley ends up being one of the third stars of the game and ends up tying the home run lead at this one, Pete. Very good. Following him up then right away, though. This is how the, the Outlaws answer in the top of the fourth. Aiden Strong's going to come up. And he's going to get this hit in the right field, making it RBI, and it's quickly tied up at one apiece. Now, nothing happens until the bottom of the fifth when Sturdy Woodman comes up and hits one in his center field. It's an RBI as well. It's Beebles out ahead by one. Now it's two to one. And then a hammer long ball is going to come up and hit one out in the center field. It's a double, two RBIs, putting the Beebles up four to one, and we can feel like we're riding the wave until the top of the sixth when Ray's going to come up. And this is where it all falls apart. It's one a two-run home run into left field, bringing the Outlaws to within one. And we thought, okay, at this point, we can hold them off. Just got to play good defense. We can't give it away. And uh, and we end up giving it away. <laughs> then right after that, or shortly after that, Kelly's going to come up. He went out in center field. It's an RBI as the runner comes all the way around from first. Is going to tie the game up at four apiece. But just to add insult to injury at the bottom, uh, that's still at the bottom of this side, the top of the sixth sample where it's going to come out. And she hits a grand slam home run over Long Ballo's head in right field. And they jump out four nothing. We haven't seen many grand slams, Pete. It's just, it really hurts to see him against us. Yeah, it, it really does. And, and coming off of the pitcher who, who threw it, uh, you know, uh, Gasser Morris, who's been rock solid all season long. Um, yeah, gives up one here, uh, which is totally out of character for him. Well, the bottom of the next side, the Beagles decide they're going to fight back. Bertha Banks comes up. She hits an RBI grounder to second base and uh, beats it out, makes the score 8-5. <clears throat> Still the same side, bottom of the six. Dexter is going to come up. Hit another one out in the center field. It's a double this time. He gets two RBIs on this one. And the Beebles pulled it within one. And they keep it going. Bottom of the six. Sturdy Woodman comes up. Hits one in the left center field. It's a double RBI tie in the game. And that's where we finally get the offense going. But we just couldn't hold the defense. Finally, on this day, we get the offense going. The defense decides to lay down. And in the top of the next side, top of the seventh, Ray comes up again this time. It's a center field double. RBI going to put the Outlaws ahead by one. And shortly thereafter, Kelly's going to come up and hit one in the center field as well. This is another RBI putting the Outlaws up 10 to 8. And uh, it's a check we just couldn't cash. Beagles in the bottom of the ninth, two outs. Freddie Knox comes up. He's going to ground out to second base. And finally put us out of our misery, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Beagles lose it 8 yeah. 10. <laughs> it was a back and forth battle. It was, uh, you know, and uh, I don't know. Even even when the, the B Wolves finally got the, the lead, it didn't feel. It felt tenuous. Again, since, uh, since the hiatus where we, we were unable to play for a while, they just haven't looked like the same team. Yeah. Well, they got a snap back real quick. We got the, uh, the water bolts in town tonight. Before we. Going to that, we got 22 other scores to tell you about here. I'm gonna take a sip of water right here. Mm. It's good water down here, Phoenix. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's start it off with the saw teeth in New York at the Wide Loads, Pete. What happened? All right, the saw teeth travel to take on the Wide Loads. Wide Loads out to an early lead, and they're gonna hold on and win seven to four. I saw a Wide Load Grand Slam. Wide Loads then came here to Phoenix to play the Sandcats. 
And the Sandcats beat him 7-4. Radio Kitties. Heaters travel to take on the Freedom. It's a back and forth battle. It's Freedom 2 to 1 in 14 innings. Platypi out in New York at the Wild Pigs. Uh, the Bacon Brothers fight, and the Wild Pigs win at 10 4. Blowfish taking on the Crocs. The Crocs are going to win that one 3 to 1. Freebooters up, up in Seattle at the Arctics, and the Arctics win at 8 zip. Outlaws travel to take on the Buzzards after beating up on the Bee Wolves. It's going to be the Buzzards 6, Outlaws 3. Philadelphia Freedom all the way out in Hawaii at the Burners, and the Freedom win at 9 5. Overdogs travel to Detroit to take on the Moose, and the Moose are going to win that one in a tight one, 4-3. Hot corners at the wide at the water bolts. These water bolts and the water beetles beat them 3-2. Sterloins are here to take on the Herbisaurs. Herbisaurs are going to win that one 3-2. Front runners are at the Gold Coats, and the front runners won it 3-2. The Warblers are going to travel to take on the Sauties. The Warblers out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win 8-4. Hot corners we're going to play soon are up against the Michigan Moose in Michigan, and the uh, corners take a 5-4. Thurloins travel to take on the Herbisaurs again. Herbisaurs back and forth battle. It's going to be Herbisaurs 8, 7, and 11. Water Bolts went out to Santa Monica to face the Overdogs, and the Overdogs beat them 5-3. Front Runners are taking on the Gold Coats. Gold Coats are going to win that one 3-1. Warblers at San Jose at the Saw Teeth. It was close at first, but then the Warblers jumped out 1-8-3. Hot Corners travel to take on the Nemesis. Hot Corners out to an early lead. They're going to hold on and win 7-4. Ruby Green home run. Jacks at the Moose, and it's close. But the Jacks pull away with a 5-3. Herbisaurus travel to take on the Warblers, and it's going to be... Wow, it's going to be the Herbisaurus 9-6 in 12. Sirloins the front runners, and again, our divisional rivals win it 11-1. to Oh my, what are we talking about here? It's oh. getting crazy toward the end of the season. All right, so in the Pioneer Conference Pathfinder Division, the Blowfish still sitting atop the uh, Pathfinder with a record of 29-10. and 10. They have a six-game lead over the second-place Crocodons, who hold second place with a record of 23-16. and 16. Finally, a game four, a game 30, they're after 39 games, they just get their 10th loss. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, Uncharted Division, San Diego Platypi out in front with a record of 23-16. and 16. They got a 22-run differential. They're two games ahead of the Oakland Outlaws, who just beat us in that last game who are 21 and 18. Uh, down in the journey division, the Grapplers hold uh, first place with a, r- a record of 23 and 16. They have a tenuous two game lead over the Arctics who sit in second place with a record of 21 and 18. In our conference, the Explorer Conference Seafair Division, the Houston Jacks still way out in front with a plus 32 run differential. They're 26 and 13. They got a six and a half game lead ahead of the California Gold Coats who are playing 500 ball at 20 and 20. Uh, in the very uh, our very own trade division, the Nemesis with a record of 27 and 12, and a plus 53 run differential, they have a, a solid hold on first place. In second place, the B Wolves with a record of 23 and 16, they are four games behind the Nemesis in the trade. Uh, they have a plus 39 run differential. The Herbisaurs in third place with a record of 21 and 18, they are six games out of first place. The Sirloins at 18 and 21 find themselves nine games out and then the water bullets bringing up the rear with a record of 15 and 23 they are 11 and a half games out of first place and a negative 29 run differential yeah so we should beat these water bullets uh but the herbivores are making a run at us man yeah they're starting to put some heat on and the nemesis are close to locking things up in first place in the curiosity division the san diego moon stars up in front at 21 and 18 at a plus 14 run differential they just have a one game lead Ahead of the San Jose Sawteeth, who still have a winning record at 21 and 20. And that's going to bring us to tonight's game, regular season game 40 of 44. We're on the home stretch, Pete. Uh, we hosted two against these these water bolts who are 15 and 23 at this point in the season. Our Beals are 23 and 16. The uh, water bolts can put their last place team is going to put their starting pitcher on the mound. The left hander, Candy Sweet. Candy Sweet is a fair pitcher. She's got an 0-1 record on the season, a 7.5 ERA and a 1.76 whip, whip, Pete. So if we can't beat Candy Sweet, we got real problems. We do, we do. But they don't. Uh, they got some good players on that uh, that team. Her- Hieronymus Jackson, the center fielder, has got good power. He's got a little bit less than average ability to connect at about average speed and a base pass in 243 with seven home runs. Uh, Stone at second base. Um, he's got good power, good ability to connect, good speed on a base pass. He's only hitting 169 with one uh, with four home runs, so he can break out at any time. And then D Miners, the left fielder, we know D 
Uh, he's got a little bit better than average power, good ability to connect, good speed on the base pass. Again, hit, only hitting 149 with no home runs. So again, this team massively underperforming what they should be what they should be performing. Yeah, uh, our people's going to put our fourth string starter on the mound. He's good enough for the for the role uh, that is Deshaun Levon, the left-hander southpaw. He throws the ball pretty accurate. Uh, he's got fair junk of velocity. He's got a five and three winning record on the season. So it looks like he's going to, unless he loses two straight, he's going to end up with a winning record. He's uh, got a 3.65 ERA and a 1.26 whip. Uh, yes, sir. Backing him up, uh, Hanley Dexteris, the superstar shortstop. Doesn't seem to be 100% physically fit. Seems to be ailing a little bit. Uh, he's got about average power. He's got good ability to connect, good speed on base pass. He's hitting 322 with 13 home runs. Uh, as Tommy said, tied with Scott Song, Sagda Song. Uh, for the lead in home runs, and uh, Sagda now sitting on the uh, free agent wire. So he's yeah. not even playing. Yeah. Hammer long ball over the right fielder who's locked in right now. He's got uh, a little bit better than average power, a little bit better than average ability to connect, and uh, less than average speed on the base pass. He's hitting 341 with nine home runs. Um, that's something else I was thinking about after the last game. I uh, took a look at Long Ballo's stats, and you're like, he doesn't have the power he had before. Yeah, he doesn't no. seem to be hitting the ball. Yeah. Uh, Buster Biggs, the left fielder, he's got better than average power, less than average ability to connect, and uh, better than average speed on the base pass. He's hit 392 with three home runs. Yeah, and I was watching a ticker in the lower left there. The Beatles got the top four on-base percentages in the league. Top four. So we're, we, we get hits. But we don't convert. We strand a lot of batters. That's that second part portion of the lineup that really has to come uh, up and start getting the hits to bring our guys home. You know. Yeah, that's that. You you hit the nail on the head. The last two games. I mean, again, we did score eight in the last game, but the la the two games before that, we left a lot of a lot of uh, runners on base. And when you're leaving leaving runs on base like that, that's you know that that causes you to lose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll get the lineup for assistant coach looking like this, and it is going to be Freddie Knox uh, starting off betting first and playing second base. He's one of those people that, you know, is in that portion of the lineup uh, usually. Now, it's going to be, well, well, we'll go down the line. We'll show it's, what's going on here. Uh, anyway, uh, Buster Biggs is going to be left field. He's going to bat second. Uh, batting, clean, batting third is Sturdy Woodman at first base, and cleanup batting fourth, Hammerlong Ball on right field. He's also locked in. Now this is this next section of lineups has got to wake up and get these runs in. Bertha Banks is gonna play third base and bat fifth. Luckily she's locked in. That's promising. Magic Moore is out in center field. He needs to start hitting. Um, Ham Slamis is gonna bat seventh. Ham Slamis is coming in and play shortstep. So hopefully we will get some some of that offense from Hammy. And yeah. Yeah, he's he's a guy that could do it. Fiona Clark is gonna catch today. So we're going to have the arm behind the plate. Uh, Steve Monstour is a little bit tense and not quite 100%. So he'll get the day off. Deshaun Levon's going to bat ninth and pitch. And Deshaun throws a four-finger, two-finger slider in the change of Pete. Let's do this thing, right? Yes, sir. Beautiful sunny day at Red Rock. Got the roof open. The breeze is blowing. So it's going to be a nice day for baseball. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, listen to that All crowd. Right. Water bullet lineup's going to look like this. D-minus is going to lead off playing right field. Stone at second. Veronimus Jackson in center field. Kent at first base. Casey Emmon at shortstop. Parker in left field. March catching. Hangnail at third base. And Candy Sweet on the mound. So as D-minus, Christian Stone and Hieronymus Jackson get ready to face off against Deshaun Levon. The B-Wolves will take the field. There's Buster Biggs making his way out to left field. Nice more out in the second. D minors, the left fielders, neutral and fit, hitting 149, no home runs, but 10 RBIs. That's our guy. Sean Levon's going to get his first call from Fiona Clark today. He winds up, throws, and this game's underway. First pitch is high and inside. It's a ball. 1 0 count to D minors, a right fielder for these Florida Water Bullets. Checks on that one inside, strike one, reaving out one apiece. Water Bullets going to be moving on next season to a different league, so this. Second to last time we'll see them in the regular season. That one's fouled first baseline. Souvenir, one and two. John Levine got him in a good place. Number 29 likes the call from Clark. Wise up throws. Another foul ball first baseline. <clears throat> He's handing out the souvenirs to the kids today, folks. Oh, he checks on that one down low, but does not chase. We're moving out to a piece. Top of the first no score. 
early game here in Phoenix. Water Bolts in town for two. It's the first. Second time these two teams met this season. That one's fouled third base line. Another souvenir. Buell's oh. looking to establish themselves. Foul ball to first base line. He's going to throw his eighth pitch to the first batter right now. Oh, that one's up near his face. He falls back. Not amused by that call. <clears throat> Sean Levon's going to throw his ninth pitch. Let's see what comes with. It's a pop up in the left field side. It's raising foul. That's going to be back about three rows. On the third baseline, another souvenir. <clears throat> Full count. Fans cheering him on. Fouled back off the net. Boy, they're driving up the pitch count with a first batter, Pete. 11 pitch in there for a strike. Finally gets him. Uh, he really paid the price for that strikeout. <clears throat> now it's Christian Stone's turn, second baseman for the water bolts. He's hitting 169 on the season. A good power hitter, a good contact hitter. I don't know why his stats are so low right now. He's got four home runs. Takes his first pitch outside, 1-0. 11 RBIs on the season. Chewing gum. Hard foul back off the net. Even up at one apiece. You got some Water Bolts fans made the trip out here. You see the end of the season for a losing team. Last place in this in this division. That one's in for a strike. We're now one and two. John Lamont gonna try and cam on number 15. He does. Low and inside. Check swing. He starts off with two strikeouts. <clears throat> it's uh he's just paying a high price for now. It's Hieronymus Jackson. That's the guy we gotta watch out for. Deshaun Lamont is now locked in. Jackson's hitting 243, seven home runs, 16 RBIs. Uh, the center fielder for the Water Bullets. Always a dangerous hitter. First pitch. Oh, a smash down third baseline. Luckily, it goes foul. Outfield's going to go deep. Third baseline. 0 1 the count. Fouled back off the net. Two hard fouls, but he's 0 2 in the count now. Sean Levon's looking to get out of this first inning as quickly as he can. Fouled back up the net up here, just underneath the booth. Still 0-2. Foul ball first baseline. Look out. These are hard souvenirs. You're going to earn these. 20th pitch in the first inning. Coming up right now. Holy cats and holy. That's a grounded first baseline. It's going to be foul. <laughs> Sturdy Woodman took his time. Gives everybody a break. Fans on their feet now. They want Sean Levon to close this out. Oh, it's up high. No good. 1-2 and two the count. Uranus Jackson. Uh, Sean Levon's not going to go deep here. That's popped up behind the plate. Fiona Clark just stands up. Makes that grab and they finish off the side. Pete. Yes, sir. Like you said, the Sean probably threw way too many pitches there. But we're going to head into the bottom of the first thing. No score. Freddie Knox, Buster Biggs, 30 women getting a first look at Candy Sweet. He's got a 7.45 ERA. Fans are loving it out here at Red Rock. Freddie Knox neutral and fifth hitting 294 with a home run and eight RBIs. First pitch from Candy Sweet in there for a called strike. 92 mile per hour fastball. Oh, oh a slide drive right back to Candy Sweet, who makes the catch for the first out. One out. Well, not a great start. Fans cheering on Buster Biggs, though. Sweet, the sidearm thrower, puts the first one in for strike 0 1. She's thrown nothing but strike so far. That one way outside he does not chase. Good eye by Buster Biggs. One apiece now. That one's in this wheelhouse and hits it between first and second in right field. D Miners pulls it up. That's going to be a clean single by Buster Biggs. Way to go, B Wills, to get it started. Yes, sir. One on with one out in steps Sturdy Woodman, the first baseman. He's neutral and fit, hitting 385 with seven home runs, 29 RBIs. Buster Biggs with speed at first base, first pitch. That's rocked in the right field. That'll bounce in front of D Miners. Buster Biggs will take second. Sturdy Woodman in at first. So runners at first and second now with one out. In steps Hammerlong. Ballo. Sturdy Woodman looking a little happy with himself. He got runners in first and second. The pressure's up now. Hammer hitting 341. Nine home runs, 24 RBIs in the season. Takes the first one in for a strike. 75 miles an hour. A candy sweet throw eighth pitch. Inside corner. It's a ball. Never even up at one apiece. B will threaten the score here. That one's outside 2 1. She's a little nervous throwing to the Hammer Man. Tenth pitch right here. Oh, inside, he has to back out of the way. Three and one, he got a hitter's pitch. He's coming rapid fire. That one makes the outside corner strike two. We got a full count now at the bottom of the first. That one's away, but he swings out, fouls it off. Still three and two. There's a hard one past the mound. Buster Biggs is coming around for home. Jackson's gonna make the throw. He slides in, and the beat will score first, Pete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So with one in, runners at first and second, one out. Bertha Banks locked in and fit. 
hitting 337 with eight home runs, 24 RBIs. First pitch to Banks is in there for called strike. Strike one. Ooh, that's in there. Gets the inside corner for called second strike. No balls, two strikes down to Bertha Banks. That one's a low ball, one. One and two. Pitch outside, ball two. Two balls, two strikes now. That one's fouled off. Banks will get another pitch. Two balls, two strikes, one out. There's a smash that's going into over the head of everybody. I'm sorry, that going went into left center field. And it went over the head of the center fielder and uh, off the wall. Bertha Banks pulls in the second with a double, a bases clearing double. So it's three to nothing now. Wow, way to go. The crowd's loud in here now, and it's Magic Moore's turn. 3 10, 4 home runs, 11 RBIs. People is hoping to add to this. They really want that win. Thousand pack on won the count. Oh, no. That's an easy pop up. Just left the home plate. Candy Sweet's going to wave that off, make that grab herself. But it's just the second out beat. Yes, sir. Two outs. Runner at second base. Ham Slam is the shortstop. Neutral and fit. He's hitting 306. Three home runs, 13 RBIs. Bertha Banks at second base. First pitch to Ham Slam is inside ball one. That one's low ball two. Two straight balls to Slam. That's in there for a call strike. Two and one now to the shortstop. There's a roller to the second baseman, Christian Stone. He'll pick it up and make the throw to Amelia Kent for the third out. So we're going to go into the top of the second. B Wolves three, water bullets nothing. Amelia Kent, Pasha Emin, and Ariel Parker are going to get a first look at Deshaun Levano through 22 pitches, racked up two strikeouts in the first inning. Amelia Kent, the first baseman, is neutral and pitch. She's got power versus left handed pitching, favors the outside pitch. She's hitting 265 with seven home runs, 17 RBIs. All right. First pitch to Amelia Kent is, oh, a flare in the center field that's going to drop for a single. So Amelia Kent with a leadoff single. So one on with no outs. In steps Kasha M in the shortstop. She's neutral and fit, hitting 299 with four home runs, 10 RBIs. This part of their lineup seems to be the most productive offensively. There's some speed over there for Amelia Kent. That one's fouled off along the left field line, out of play. Strike one, throw over to first, and Amelia Kent is back. So one on with no outs. Kasha M in the shortstop at the plate. Takes that one inside, ball one. One ball, one strike. That's in there for called second. Kasha Emman was going to offer, but she decided to hold up. Got called a strike anyway. One and two. That pitch is low and outside. Ball two. Two and two now to Kasha. Hmm. That one's outside. Ball three. Three balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Runner at first base. There's a smash, but that's foul along the third baseline. Kasha Emman will get another pitch. Hmm. John Levon steps off the rubber. Amelia Kent is back. That one's fouled off along the first baseline. Three balls, two strikes. Smash into the stands. Can't get along past the left hand, left field line. Still three and two. That one's popped up into. Left field, Buster Briggs is there. He's going to make the throw to second base to hold Amelia Kent to first. So one out, in steps in. Ariel Parker, the left fielder. She's a neutral fit. She's hitting 214 with three home runs, five RBIs. One on with one out. First pitch to Parker's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Ariel Parker, the that catches a low outside corner for a second called second strike. So now she's in the hole. 0 oh, and 2. Ariel Parker playing left field, swinging a miss, strike three. Down goes Parker. So two outs now with a runner at first. Domingo March, the catcher's neutral fit, favors the outside pitch. Domingo's hitting 247 with two home runs, seven RBIs. First pitch to March is in there for a called strike, strike one. There's a shot. Oh, and that's over the head of Bertha Banks and into the corner of left field. Buster Biggs is going to come up firing the Ham Slamis, but Amelia Ken is able to pull in the third. So runners at first and third with two outs. Vern Hangnail, the third baseman, steps in. He's neutral and fit. Favors the inside pitch. He's hitting 200 with two home runs and three RBIs. 
First pitch to Hangnails in there for a call strike. Strike one. Water Bullets uh, threatening to score. There's a roller, but that's going to be fouled along the first baseline. And very quickly, Vern Hangnail is in the hole. No balls, two strikes. <laughs> that one's inside, ball one. Almost got Hangnail to chase on that one. There's a roller to Freddie Knox. He's going to pick that up. He's going to throw it to Sturdy Woodman for the third out. <laughs> we are out of the inning. We're going to go into the bottom of the uh, second. It's still B Wolves three, Water Bullets nothing. Fiona Clark's first at bat, Deshaun Levon's first at bat, and Freddie Knox 0 for 1. Candy Sweet at 25 pitches, giving up four hits. Her ERA's jumped up to an 8.41. Fiona Clark is neutral and fit, hitting 254 with a home run, five RBIs. Bottom of the second, B Wolves three zip. First pitch by Candy Sweet, a strike right in there, 0 1. Like she's a little tense though. 27th pitch right in there, hard grounder past the mounder. In the center field, Jackson's going to stop that one, and uh, Fiona Clark's going to be on. The fans cheering around. They haven't seen her in a little while. No, sir. So one on with no outs. It steps to Sean Levon. He's neutral and fit, hitting 400, Tommy, <laughs> with two RBIs. First pitch is oh. hit to Kasha Emin. It's short. She flips it to Christian Stone. <laughs> over to Amelia Kent for the double play. So the bases are cleared. Two outs. Freddie Knox stepping into the box. That was right in his wheelhouse. Fans cheered him though. Freddie's hot and cold. We'll see what we get here. First pitch starts outside, stays there. Ball one. 30th pitch across. Uh, it's a hard ground of a streak to hang out. First one pump throw to first. Third one pump throw to first. <laughs> yes, sir. Three up, three down. We're heading into the top of the third. Water bonus. No runs on two hits. Buells, three runs on five hits. Candy Sweets first at bat. D Miners 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Christian Stone 0 for 1 with a strikeout. The shot on at 41 pitches with three strikeouts, giving up two hits. Candy Sweet looking tense, but she's batting a thousand on the season. Uh, starting off left hand batter's box. Sean Levin's going to throw his 42nd pitch in the third inning. It goes right out with a strike. Expect to see a few more of those. No pressure here. Second pitch, ground or third base line. The infield is going to go uh, guard the lines. Candy Sweet, 44th pitch by Sean Levin. Strike three, three pitch strikeout. He's jazzed, even though he's striking out the pitcher. <laughs> but hey, you know, every little bit you get. Uh, now it's D Miners again, the right fielder. Uh, fans cheering him on and cheering him away. 45th pitch by the locked in. Sean Levon's going to start this off. Got one out, two to go. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Nice split finger outside corner. Oh, on the count to D Miners. That one's low. And that even sings up a one apiece. 47th pitch. Pop up, foul ball, first baseline. Sturdy Woodman's ranger back. Because he get that in foul territory. Toss it out into the seats as a souvenir. Beagle's got two up, two down. Now it's Christian Stone coming up over one. Uh, the second baseman for the Water Bullets. His first pitch is a liner out in the right field. Hammerlong Bala runs out and makes that grab for the third out, Pete. Yes, sir. We're going to head into the bottom of the third. It's still B Wolves three. Water bullets nothing. Buster Biggs <laughs> one for one. Sturdy Woodman one for one. Hammer long ball. Oh, one for one. Candy Sweet at 30 pitches with five hits. I almost drowned there in my own saliva. <laughs> <laughs> Buster Biggs, the left fielder, neutral if it one for one with a single. It happens when you get our 50s, you know? <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden you forget to, to, to swallow. Uh, first one's fouled off, strike one. That one's outside, ball one. One ball, one strike down to Buster Biggs, the left fielder. There's a roller to the first baseman, Amelia Kent. It's a foot race that Amelia Kent's going to win, so one out. And then steps Sturdy Woodman. Sturdy Woodman, one for the single. He's locked in. Fans jumping up and down, cheering him on. Sturdy! First one's there for a strike. Oh, one. It gets a little quieter now. <laughs> Red Rock. Second one's a strike. You got two quick strikes. Oh, two safety off now. Oh, it's a liner on the right field, but that's going to be straight to the glove of D Miners. Two up, two down. Yeah, they can't let up here. Hammer on Ballo locked in and fit one for one with a single and an RBI again. The offense looks good, and now it's just not nowhere. Ball one to Hammer on Ballo. That one's low. That's in there for called strike. One ball, one strike down to Long Ballo. That's outside, inside, ball two. Two balls and a strike. That was high. Whoa. <laughs> Heads up. Three straight, three balls and a strike. There's a roller to Akasha Emin at short. She's going to make the throw to 
Amelia Kent at first base for the third out. So we're going to head into the top of the fourth. It's still 3 nothing. What uh, B Wolves. Hieronymus Jackson 0 for 1. Amelia Kent 1 for 1. And Kashi Ammon 0 for 1. Levon at 48 pitches with four strikeouts, giving up two hits. He's got a 3.48 ERA. Hieronymus Jackson, the center fielder, neutral and fit 0 for 1 today. All right. He's my Hieronymus. He is. Deshaun Levon locked in, delivers his 49th pitch. A hot smash to Bertha Banks, who did not have to move. She just grabbed that out of the air. It's the one out. Amelia Kent stepping in. He's one for one with a single. Hmm. She was left at third base. First pitch to Amelia Kent is in there. Is in there for called strike. Strike one. No balls in a strike. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And now Kent is in the hole. No balls. Two strikes. One out. Base is empty in the top of the fourth. There's a shot. And Ham Slemis is going to pick that up. Double pump. Make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the second out. So two up, two down, and in steps Kasha Emmon. She's 0 for 1 today. Emmon playing shortstop. Got a lot of work in the field in the bottom of the third. Kasha Emmon wings and fouls the first pitch off. Strike one. No balls in a strike to Kasha Emmon. That one's fouled off as well, and very quickly she puts herself in the hole. No balls, two strikes. That's in there for call. Third strike. She watched that one go by. Jumps on the first two and lets that one go by. So we're going to head into the bottom of the fourth. It's still three to nothing B Wolves. Bertha Banks one for one with a double. Magic Moore 0 for one and Ham Slamis 0 for one. Candy Sweet at 41 pitches, giving up five hits. Her ERA is down to a 7.66. Bertha Banks is locked in and fit. One for one, a double and two RBIs. Two RBIs coming. <laughs> hey, Candy Sweet starts with a 42nd pitch. It's a ball. We'll know the count. Again, she's coming rapid fire ah. one after another. That one's a ground. Kasha Emin, our old friend at second base, those in the first. One up, one down. Yeah. Magic War, neutral and fit. Got good connection versus left-handed pitching, but he's 0 for 1 today. One out, nobody on in the bottom of the fourth. There's a smash. There's oh. a layout by Christian Stone who picks it up and makes the wow. throw and just gets Magic Moore by a step or two. Two outs, two up, two down, half slammers. Not many pitches either. 45th pitch. Ham's got to draw this out. That one's a pie. Ball one. Well, no. Good patience. Good eye there, Hammy. Second one's low and away. 2 and 0. Oh. Just watch her pitch now. She's losing it. 47th pitch is in there. So we're going to miss strike one. 2 and 1. Here at the bottom of the fourth. 3 nothing. B Wolves. Oh, that one somehow makes the outside corner out. 2 2 2. And she doesn't slow down. Ball three. 3 and 2. Full count. And she walks him. Good eye. Good patience there, Hammy. Yes, sir. So one on with two outs and steps Fiona Clark. She's one for one with a single. And Slamis does not have a lot of speed over at first base. First pitch to Clark is outside. Ball one. Allen's high. Ball two. Two straight balls to Fiona Clark. There's a roller to the pitcher, a comebacker. Oh! And oh! She's slow. A comebacker that she couldn't handle, but she was able to recover and throw out Fiona Parker first. So we're going into the top of the fifth. It's still three to nothing. B Wolves. Ariel Parker 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Domingo March 1 for 1 and Vern Hangnail 0 for 1. LeVon at 55 pitches with five strikeouts. Ariel Parker 0 for 1 on the day. The tense left fielder for these Florida Water Bullets. Right hand batter's box. Bouncing her step. Takes the first pitch. Right in there for a strike, all on the count. John LeBond looking good, still locked in. Pitch number 57. She anticipated the inside slider, but it missed. Or even now, one apiece. Beautiful, beautiful afternoon here in Phoenix. Beatles have a 3 nothing lead halfway through the game. That one reaches out, hits that one, fouls it back off the wall. She's in a hole, one and two. Gets under that, fouls it back off the net. Still one and two. John LeBond is going to try and drop her on number 60 here. Number 29 on number 60. Oh, up near the bat. Misses. Reba now at two apiece. Swings. Fouls that back off the, the third baseline. Foul. Uh, you know, locked in pitcher against the tense batter. That one's a line drive right in the glove of Freddie Knox. You would have thought it would go a little quicker than that, but uh, one up, one down. And now this is D Domingo March, a catcher. He's one for one with a single. Likes his pitches away. Sean LeVon knows that, and he gives him one, but does not chase a little too far. One no the count. 
Hard liner over the jumping head of Bertha Banks. Buster Biggs then picked that one up and throw it into Freddie Knox. That's a clean single, but the Beagles got one, so they get that double play hit now. Clean things up nicely. Now it's Vern Hangnell. He's over one in the day. Got a, a slower than average runner at first base, so probably not going to go with Fiona Clark behind the net. Behind the plate. That one's in it for strike. Oh, one on the count. Oh, a hard liner to left field. Buster Biggs is back. Oh, he dives and cannot grab it. The runner's going to come to third and hold up there. Ham Slam is going to toss it over. And now they got runners at first and sec or second and third with the one out. So now they're in a tough situation. Candy Sweets up 0 for 1 of the day. They only have one out, so they need to drop her and not let her hit anywhere or get the get the throw home quick. This one's in there for a strike. The infield's going to go halfway just in case. Cover the gap to the plate. Anticipated liner, third base. Foul ball, 0-2. She's in a hole. Sure would be nice to get a K here. He does! Low and inside. She argues with the ump, but it's a strikeout. That's exactly what... Um, Deshaun LeVon needed. Now it's D Miners 0 for 2 left fielder. On the day, mostly a good contact hitter. Eagles got to be careful. Fans jumping up and down cheering. Christian's on the outside corner. Strike one. Oh, one the count. D Miners. Number 71. Coming up right here. Oh, this is a little bit high. Now we're even at one apiece. Waterbolt's threatening to score. Eagles trying to keep him off the scoreboard. Now oh, this is low. Now we're at 2 and 1. It's a patient pitcher, Deshaun LeVon. He's a seasoned veteran. Misses that one high and inside, though. It's three and one. Hitter's pitch, but it's okay. And he walks him. It's going to load the bases, but um, now he's dealing with Christian Stone, who's tense and 0 for 2 on the day. So this may not be a bad situation. Bases are loaded, but he just needs one more. 75th pitch. Hard foul back off the wall. 0 1. Fans clapping for him. That one check swing strike too low and away. 0 and 2. Can he get out of this? Fouled back, souvenir, first baseline. Still 0-2. Hard foul back off the wall, 0-2. He's swinging it a lot. Maybe get him chasing some junk. Chewing gum. Reaches out, hits that to Deshaun LeBron. He's going to take the easy throw to first, and they clear it out, Pete. Yes, sir. So again, water bolts are threatening, but the B-Wolves are able to put a stop to it. Heading into the bottom of the fifth, it's still B Wolves three, Water Bullets nothing. Deshaun Levon 0 for 1, Freddie Knox 0 for 2, and Buster Briggs 1 for 2. Candy Sweet had 53 pitches, giving up a walk. And some hits. Deshaun Levon locked in and fit 0 for 1 today, hitting 381 with two home run, uh, two RBIs. He's a good contact hitter for a pitcher and good power. First one's on the ground, ball one. In the count. Ooh, hard foul back off the wall. Even things up at one apiece. Candy Sweet coming rapid fire. Strike two, one and two. That one's low. Ah, oh! Yeah, yeah, but, made it yeah, over the plate. I thought, I, was, I thought it was low. Struck him out. I did too. I, did too. I thought it was low coming in, but Freddie Knox 0 for two. One out, nobody on. Oh, shot. That one's lifted into right field on a fly, and D Miners will make the catch for the second out. So two up, two down, and in steps Buster Biggs, the left fielder. Well, that was right in the wheelhouse again. Buster Biggs, one for two. Freddie Knox, 0 for three on the day. Not, not a good day for Freddie Knox. That one makes it back in. Bends in there for strike on the count. 16th pitch is low. And now we're even at one apiece. Bottom of fifth, three, nothing. B-Wolves. Rapid fire. It's like a pitching machine. Two and one now. Candy Sweet getting her 62nd pitch. Misses inside. Good eye, Buster Biggs. Three and one. Hitter's pitch. He swings under it. Fouls it back off the net. Full count, three and two. Hard ah. liner on the ground, but that's straight to Christian Stone at second base. One pump throw to first. Three up, three down. Yes, sir. We're heading into the top of the sixth. It's uh, water bullets. No runs on four hits. B Wolves, three runs on five hits. Ron Miss Jackson, 0 for 2. Amelia Kent, 1 for 2. And Kasha Emmon, 0 for 2 in the strikeout. Sean Levon at 79 pitches with six strikeouts. Ron Miss Jackson is neutral and fit, 0 for 2 today. And the B Wolves have not gotten a hit since the third inning. Wow. They had five hits at the, th the third inning. First pitch to Hieronymus Jackson is in there for called strike. Strike one. Jackson playing center field for the Water Bullets. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Deshaun Levon now out in front of Hieronymus Jackson. There's a roller, but that'll be foul along the third baseline. He'll get another pitch. No balls, two strikes, no outs. Nobody on in the top of the sixth. B Wolves winning three to nothing. That one's outside ball one. One ball, two strikes. 
That's a late swing foul along the first baseline. One and two. <laughs> There's a swinging bunt. Unfortunately, Fiona Clark caught it in foul territory. So one ball, two strikes. Oh, There's a crap. smash. That's going to be out of here. That's into the fourth, fifth roll out of the left field. It's a home run for Hieronymus Jackson. That traveled 429 feet to left field. That's his 17th RBI of the season and his eighth home run. And the water bullets are on the board. It's 3-1. In steps Amelia Kent. She's neutral and fit. One for two with a single. She's got power versus left-handed pitching, and she favors the outside pitch. So nobody on, nobody out. Top of the sixth. First pitch to Amelia Kent's in there for a strike. Strike one. We're going to make strike two. Amelia Kent now behind in the count. No balls, two strikes. There's a roller to Sturdy Woodman. He's going to pick that up. He's going to take it himself. Step on first for the first out. One out. And in steps the shortstop, Kasha Emmons. She's neutral and fit. 0 for 2 today. One out, nobody on. Bottom, uh, top of the sixth. That one's popped up into foul territory. Sturdy Woodman's running over. He's going to make the catch for the second out. Two outs and in steps Ariel Parker. She's tense, but fit. Parker 0 for 2 today. Two outs and nobody on in the top of the sixth. First pitch is fouled straight back, strike one. B Wolves three, water bullets one. LeVon delivers. Now it's fouled straight back. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Deshaun LeVon delivering his 93rd pitch. That's fouled straight back. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Ariel Parker, the water bullet left fielder, lets that one go by too high. Says the ump. One ball, two strikes. There's a roller back to Deshaun Levon, and he's going to take it, make the throw to Sturdy Wooden for the third out. So we're going to go into the bottom of the sixth. B Wolves three, Water Bullets one. Sturdy Woodman, one for two. Cameron Longballo, one for two. Bertha Banks, one for two with a double. Candy Sweet at 64 pitches with a strikeout, a walk, and giving up five hits. Sturdy Woodman's neutral and fit. One for two with a single, Tom. Yeah, we got to get those hits again, man. Yeah. First pitch to Sturdy Woodman's outside. Ball one. Allen's low ball, two. There's a hot smash to Errol Kent at first base. She'll take it herself for the first out. One up, one down, and in steps Hammer Long Ballo. Uh, again, good power on it, but just right to people. We're just hitting right to people. Hammer Long Ballo, one for two. Only her 68th pitch. It looks like Candy Sweet's going the full game. <laughs> that one, two quick pitches outside, two and oh, for the Hammer Man. Oh, that somehow makes the outside corner now two and one. That one low on the, on the plate, three and one hitter's pitch. High and inside. She walks him on five pitches, Pete. Yes, sir. So with one on and one out, Bertha Banks is locked in and fit. She's one for two with a double and two RBIs. Ballo with about moderate speed over at first base. Mm. First pitch catches the inside corner for called strike. Strike one. That one's way outside ball one. One ball, one strike, one out. That one's outside ball two. Two and one now. That one's way high, ball three. Candy Sweet seems to be losing a little some here. That one's inside, ball four. Bertha Banks will take first, so runners at first and second now with one out and in steps Magic Moore. Magic Moore 0 for two, the pressure up. He's got to do something here, but Candy Sweet's got a seat. Yeah, like you said, they saw her losing some of her stuff there. It's going to be a double, uh, double switch, by the way. They're going to bring in Bradley Bowler, the starter slash reliever. He's got a 5-5-4 area, 1-4-9 whip, and 26 Ks in the season. He's known mostly for his junk, but he's also got very good velocity and fair accuracy. He's mostly well rested. He throws a four finger, two finger, and mixes it up with the slider and the changeup. We're going to see another ch change at uh, left field. Ariel Parker is going to have a seat. Um, she's a little tense, and she's she's not a great fielder. She doesn't have a huge arm. They're going to bring Gustav Gustavsson, uh, who's who's played well against us. He's got no errors, a 136 average, one home run, known mostly for his arm, which is pretty good. Uh, the pressure's up here as they're going to start throwing off the Magic Moore. First pitch by Bradley Baller. Oh, a no. Pop fly in the infield. Dang, Magic. Why was he doing that? going to be two down. Because it looked like it was right there. That's why he did it. But it wasn't. <laughs> uh, two outs. Ham slam is the shortstop neutral and fit. 
Uh, I didn't see what he was doing today. Two outs, the first pitch to uh, Ham Slamis is outside ball, and I think he walked his first time up, so no official at bat yet. That's outside ball two. Two balls and no strikes. That's a smash. That's going to get into the gap between left wow. and center, and everybody's coming around. Everybody's coming around, and wow. Ham Slamis is going to pull in the second with a double, and Bertha Banks will cross the plate, make it at five to one. Five to one, Tommy. Wow. Yeah, way to go, Hammy. We were just talking before the game that he needs to get that offense going, and he has, Pete. Fiona Clark's up now. Hard hit the left center field. It's going back. It is going to be oh. caught at the track for the third. Wow. Damn it. <laughs> Dodd, you gotta, she got a hold of that one. We're going to head into the top of the seventh now. B Wolves five, Water Bullets one. Domingo March two for two. Vern Hangnail one for two with a double. And Gustav Gustafsson first at bat. Sean Levant at 95 pitches. Boy, you know, Fiona hits that one to right field, it's out of here. Um, Domingo March is two for two on the day. Good power hitter, good contact as well. One dangerous catching hitter for the water bullets. Deshaun Levon throws the first pitch from low. All on one of low. Top of the seventh now, it's 5-1 B-Wolves. Anticipated that uh, mid-count fastball. 2-0, it misses. That one's in there for a strike. Now the safety's off, we're at one apiece. Deshaun Levon creeping up at 100 pitches. Still got some gas in the tank, though. Slider on the ground, and Freddie Knox is going to pick that up. One pump throw over to first. One up, one down. And uh, Vern Hangnell is now one for two with a double. Hopefully, he's another left-hander, so hopefully Deshaun Levon can throw to one more guy here before the switch. He's going to start off with his 100th pitch. He's locked in. That one misses high. Ball one, one of the count. He's now over the 100 mark with that one. It's a grounder to Ham Slams. He's going to pick it up on his way to first throw. Just beats out the, the runner. Now we got two up, two down. Maybe uh, maybe Deshaun get out of this inning, Pete. Gustav Gustafsson sitting 136 on the season. One home run, two RBIs. Good power hitter, good contact as well. Takes the first pitch in there for a strike. 0-1. John Lamont starting to lose a little velocity. Outfield fading back. Even set up with a ball, one apiece now. Good, good distance here for Deshaun Levon, who's going deep into the seventh inning. Oh, a hard smash foul ball, first baseline souvenir. One and two, he's behind the count. Can Deshaun Levon came on his 105th? Oh, he reaches down and fouls at third baseline. One and two. Still got the junk in the accuracy, though. Oh, that one misses up just high. Now we're at two, two, and two. He's losing some accuracy, still got the junk. He's looking a little tired. Fools him, swing with strike three, and he ends with a K. Wow. Yes, sir. So we're going to go into the bottom of the seventh. B Wolves five, Water Bullets one, Deshaun Levon 0 for two. It's a strikeout. Freddie Knox 0 for three, and Buster Biggs 1 for three. Bradley Bowler five pitches, giving up one hit. Deshaun Levon is locked in and fit. He's 0 for two today. He will not hit. No, he will. <laughs> so he'll take a seat. We'll get a new pitcher in the top of the eighth. Deshaun Levon pitched a heck of a game. Gonna put looks like uh, if all goes well, he should be a six and three, Tom. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, right. Deshaun Levon will take a seat. In comes the C plus ranked Poke Foster. The pinch hitting right fielder is hitting 216 with two RBIs. He's neutral and fit. He does not have a lot of power, but he's got good contact and poor speed on the base pass. So Poke Foster pinch hitting for Deshaun Levon. First pitch. The poke is in there for it's called strike, strike one. That is a late yes. swing, but a single to right field that'll bounce in front of D liner. So Poke Foster with a leadoff single, one on with no outs, and in steps Freddie Knox. All right, Freddie. We're gonna do a pinch runner for Poke Foster here. All right, so uh, Pope Foster will take the seat. They're going to bring in uh, B minus ranked Eduardo Keller, the uh, pinch running left fielder. He's got two stolen bases. He's hitting 273 with two home runs. He's neutral and fit. He's got uh, he's got uh, poor po uh, less than air, uh, poor power, poor <laughs> contact, but he's got very good speed on the base pass. So with no outs. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Double play. Uh. So Eduardo Keller was off with the pitch, and that brought the second baseman over to second, who, uh, which put him in the perfect position to pick up the uh, uh, Freddie Knox's line drive. So a double play. 
Buster Binks takes the first two pitches for two uh, for two balls. It's now uh, that's called strike. Two balls, one strike, two outs. There's a shot in the center field. Center fielder Hermes Jackson is there to make the catch. Three outs. Oh, Tommy, we <laughs> <laughs> we had it. We were threatening, and then it was gone just as quickly. Uh. Eduardo Keller will take a seat. They're going to bring in Benson Rushmore, the relief pitcher. Benson Rushmore with a 2.15 ERA, a .65 WHIP, and 28 strikeouts. He's neutral and fit. He's got about average velocity, average junk, poor accuracy. He's almost fully rested. He's got a four-seam fastball, a two-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. So as we go into the top of the eighth, it's still 5-1 B-Wolves. D-Miners 0 for 2 with a walk and a strikeout. Christian Stone 0 for 3 with a strikeout. And Hieronymus Jackson 1 for 3 with a home run. Benson Rushmore taking the bump with that 2.15 ERA. His last time out, he was lights out, Tommy. <laughs> D-Miners, the left fielder, is neutral and fit. 0 for 2 with a walk today. Benson Rushmore gets it going with a strike. Fastball strike. Strike one. Allen's inside ball one. One ball, one strike. Nobody on, nobody out. Top of the eighth. B Wolves five. Water bullets one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. D minus was out in front of that one. One and two now. Allen's popped up. Ooh. Uh, in the foul territory. Fiona Clark is there to make the catch. Tripped the on the bat out. there. <laughs> one up, one down. Christian Stone, tense but fit. He's 0 for 3 today. Yeah, I always, uh, there's always a hesitation because I never know who they're going to give me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to be the third baseman and then it winds up being the catcher. There's a ground ball to Freddie uh, Knox. Freddie Knox will pick it up, make the throw to Sturdy Woodman for the second out. So two quick outs. And then steps Hieronymus Jackson, the center fielder. He's locked in and fit. 1 for 3 with a home run and an RBI. Last time up. He cleared the wall and uh, got on the board for the water bolts. First pitch to Jackson is inside ball one. One ball, no strikes. That one's fouled straight back. That evens the count. One ball, one strike. Benson Rushmore throwing his eighth pitch. And there's a shot to Ham Slam. He's going to pick it up. Double pump. Make the throw to Sturdy Woodman. Three up, three down. We're heading into the bottom of the eighth. It is B-Wolves five, water bullets one, Sturdy Woodman one for three, hammer along ball one for two with a walk, Bertha Banks one for two with a double and a walk, Bradley Bowler at 12 pitches, giving up two hits as ERA's at a 5.31. Sturdy Woodman is neutral and fit, one for three with a single. All right, Sturdy, going for his eighth home run here. Hard liner on the ground past the diving second baseman in the center field. Sturdy's gonna get on with the first pitch of the eighth inning, Pete. Yes, sir. So one out with no outs and steps. Hammer long ball though. He's locked in and fit. One for two with a single, a walk, and an RBI. Hammer was a home run away from hitting for the cycle in the last game. Mm. Allen's fouled straight back. Strike one. Allen's high and inside. Ball one. One ball, one strike down a long ball though. Allen's low ball two. Long ball though, hitting 344. That one's inside ball three. Three balls and a strike down to Hammer Long Ball. Though. That comes across for a called strike three and two. Oh. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Down goes Hammer Long Ball. Though. One on with one out and in steps Bertha Banks. Good, good pitch on the last one. The locked in Bertha Banks. Got a slow runner first base. One out. Just don't want to hit into a double play. Fans cheer her on. First one misses low. One on the count. Early swing foul back off the wall, reaming out one apiece. High pitch over her head, no swing, ball two, two and one the count. That one low, he's all over with these pitches. Three and one, hitter's pitch now. Oh, it's a hard one to right field, and I think that's gone. It's got the distance. Yes, it's back like five rows. Bertha Banks comes through on the home run. She hits that one 402 feet. It's her ninth home run and 28th RBI of the season. And Bertha Banks celebrates with Magic Moore, who's up next. Yes, sir. Magic Moore, neutral and fit. He's 0 for 3 today. One out, nobody on. Bottom of the eighth. First pitch is outside. Ball one. B-Wolves have opened up a lead. Make it 7 to 1. Ooh, a tough dive by Amelia Clark. And Magic Moore's going to beat it out. So a hard smash, uh, Amelia Clark couldn't handle. 
having some technical issues with our our feed here, but um, Bradley Baller is going to be leaving the game. They've, they've had enough of him uh, for the water bullets. He's going to take a seat. They're going to bring in the A minus ranked Hippie Dubs. Number 48 is a uh, relief pitcher. He's thrown a 419 on the season. 132 whip and 31 Ks. He's locked in. He's extremely accurate. He's got good junk and fair velocity. He's a composed K man. He throws a four finger, the two finger, and he mixes it up with the fork and the changeup. And he's going to start off the ham slamus here in the bottom of the eighth with a 7-1 Beewolves lead. As that fourth pitch drops out, misses ball one, one of the count. Second pitch, inside corner makes it for a strike, one to one. That one's on the oh, ground, no. fair ball is Christian Stone who throws the second for one, back to first for two, clear the side. The double play, the Beewolves Achilles heel. So as we go into the top of the ninth, wonderful, it's one run on five hits. Beewolves seven runs on 10 hits. Amelia Kent, one for three. Kasha Ammon, 0 for three with a strikeout. And Hippie Dubs, first at bat. Benson Rushmore on the bump. Amelia Kent, the first baseman, neutral and fits. He favors the outside pitch. He's one for three with a single. Benson Rushmore throwing his ninth pitch in the top of the ninth inning. Pretty good. Oh, that's me. I'm it's right. uh, Pete's. Uh, Benson's waiting on Pete to give him the nod. Okay. Benson nods up here to the booth. <laughs> It's a signal from Fiona Clark. He winds up, throws, and this ninth inning's in a way. Check swings, ball one. Too high and too inside. Top of the ninth, seven one Beavis. Oh, hard one it is. Benson Rushmore is done for the day. That one took him down. Josh Emmett comes in. She's over three on the day. And I think, yeah, Benson Rushmore is rattled. We're going to bring the closer in. Macy York, it's been a while since we've seen her. Give, give. Benson some time to rest. Oh. All right, so Benson Rushmore is going to take a seat. They're going to bring in the B-ranked uh, closing pitcher, Macy York. York with a 3.86 ERA, a 2.04 whip, seven strikeouts. She's neutral on pitch. She's got about average velocity, less than average junk, and average accuracy. She's fully rested. She's got a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. And she wants to make it to the postseason. So she's going to try and get past Kasha Emin quick. Our old friend Kasha. First one misses outside ball one, one of the count. Pressure up now. That was right in for a strike. Now Kasha's got the safety off. The shortstop for the Florida Water Bullets. Going up against Macy York. Throws the third pitch. Breaking pitch fouled into her own dugout. One and two now, the count. Gets her swinging low and away. Fouls it back up the wall, one, two. Macy York wants that strike out. You can see it. Fifth pitch. Breaking pitch on the ground, hand slam is going to pick it up to his left, throw to his, it moves to his right, throws to his left, gets that out. And now it's the pitcher, Hippie Dubs, composed K-Man. Oh, they're going to pull him. That is interesting. I guess they need the offense. Uh, they're going to bring in the B-ranked number 24 shortstop, Clayton Benitez. Clayton Benitez is hitting 276 on the season, one home run, five RBIs, known mostly for his power. He's uh, average power, fair contact, and uh, good speed. And uh, he's in the right-hand batter's box, bouncing his step. Hoping for his second home run. Takes first pitch inside strike, 1-1 one -on -one the count. Safety off. Pressure up, one down, two to go. Oh, the slider makes the outside corner. She's got him in a hole in two. Could she drop him? Maybe he's not as, oh, up near his chin. He backs out. And it is quite a chin. Clayton Benitez, pinch hitting here. One and two the count, Benitez. Breaking ball, hit foul, third baseline. Still one and two. Connor Clark gives a signal, reaches out. Freddie Knox runs over, makes that grab at second base. And the runner gets back in time that he can't toss. We got one more to go, Pete. Uh, Domingo March, two for three and two singles. Um, he will throw into a strong pitcher hard on the ground. A ham slam is going to pick that up. One pump throw to first, and the game is over, Pete. The Beewolves win it. All right. After dropping three straight, we finally get that offense we needed, and the defense clamped down. We got solid pitching. We'll have to see what happens with uh, Benson Rushmore, but uh, boy, do we need that win. Yeah, we did, and, and like you say, good offense. Again, uh, too many hitting, hitting into too many double plays. We'll have to try and clean that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, all in all, seven runs on ten hits. I like that that uh, that that. Uh, Average. Uh, yeah, I, like, yeah. uh, I like the fact 
Yeah, yeah. We didn't have to get twice as many hits for half as many runs. We got, you know, seven runs on ten hits. Yeah. Um, scored it in bunches. You know, first inning we scored three. Second, a uh, sixth inning we scored two. Eighth inning we scored two more. So uh, we weren't just one run here, one run there, but we were put, we were able to put together a couple of couple runs at a time. Yeah, not a lot of hits in this game at all. Uh, so it's surprising we had seven runs on just ten hits. Uh, we've had ten hits before the one run, I think. Um, yeah. Water bolts only. We hold them to only six hits the whole game. That was big, and they just got that one run. It's a home run we gave up to. Uh, I forget what's his name. Veronimus Jackson. 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 Yeah, the old moose came through yeah. and beat us on a bad pitch. Uh, the for the water bolts offensively, D Miners goes over through the strikeout, walks once. Clayton Stone, uh, 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Hieronymus Jackson goes just one for four, but he scores a run on that home run and gets the RBI. So it's a big hit. He might. I don't know if he'd be player of the game. Uh, Kent Amelia Kent comes. He goes two for four. Has a good day. Kasha Emin, our old friend. Fallen. She goes 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Uh, Ariel Parker 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Bowler and Dubs both sub and don't hit. Uh, Clayton Benitez comes in and goes 0 for 1. Uh, Domingo March goes 2 for 4. Not a bad day for Domingo. Vern Hangnail goes 1 for 3. Uh, Case Sweet 0 for, Candy Sweet 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Not a good showing for her. Gustav Gustafsson comes in to pinch it. He goes 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Yes, sir. He was uh, subbed in for uh, uh, Ariel Parker. Yeah. Uh, over there for the B-Wolves, Freddie Knox goes 0 for 4 again. <laughs> you know, he's so streaky. Um, Buster Biggs goes 1 for 4 with a scored run. Sturdy Women 2 for 4, scored 2 runs. Uh, Hammerlong Ball 1 for 3, scored 2 runs, had an RBI and a walk as well as a strikeout. All he needed was a home run. Yes. Yeah. Stat and everything. Uh, Bertha Banks goes two for three. She scored two runs, hit a home run, uh, counted for four RBIs. Tell me that Bertha Banks not turning it on here. Yes, yeah, toward the end. One of the players yeah. of the game. She gets, if she got a strikeout, she would have one in every column. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one I can live without. Yeah. Bertha yeah. Banks, she did get one walk, though. Uh, Magic Moore went one for four, which is sad because he's, he kind of leveled up, and now he's known as a stealer around the league, and we can't get him on base. Uh, Ham Slamus goes one for three uh, with two RBIs and a walk. Fiona Clark went one for three. Deshaun Levon 0 for two with a strikeout. Pope Foster one for one. Uh, Eduardo Keller, Benson Rushmore, and Macy York all did not have an official at bat. So, Pitching uh, for the water bullets, Candy Sweet's going to get the loss. She throws five in the third innings, gives up just five hits. Just five hits, but they're all earned runs. Uh, Walks three batters, gets one K. Her ERA climbs to a 7.66. Now she's 0-2 on the season. Uh, Bradley Bowler comes into those two innings, gives up five hits as well. Just two innings. Uh, gives up two earned runs. Uh, strikes out one batter, gives up a home run to Bertha Banks. Uh, his ERA climbs to a 5.71. He's now he's still 2-1-0 on the season. And Hippie Dubs comes into those two-thirds of an inning, gives up nothing. Has a good close there. His ERA drops to a 4.12. He's 2-4-0. And over there for the B-Wolves, uh, Deshaun Levon will get the win going away. Uh, pitched seven innings, gave up five hits, only one earned run. He walked one, struck out seven, gave up a home run to Aronimus Jackson. His ERA is at a 3.41, and his uh, record will improve to six wins and three losses. Wow. Uh, Benson Rushmore came in, pitched an inning, gave up one hit. Uh, his ERA is at a 2.08, and his record will remain four wins, one loss, and four saves. Macy York pitched an inning. And uh, gave up nothing. Her ERA is at 3.48, and her record will remain no wins, one loss, and four saves. Three stars of the game. Number one star of the game, the B minus ranked B Wolf third base woman, Bertha Banks. She goes two for three with a home run, a double, four RBIs, and she scored two runs herself. So there you go. There you go, Bertha. Second star of the game, the B ranked starting pitcher, number 29, Deshaun Levon, has another great day. He throws seven innings, gives up just five hits, one earned run. Walks a batter, gets seven Ks. He's now in position. Uh, hit the worst, if he loses his next game, the last game of the season, he still has two more wins than losses. He's got a chance to be seven and four with a win there. Yes, sir. And then the third star of the game, Ham Slamis, the shortstop. He went one for three with a double, and he, he uh, brought in two RBIs. All right. Gamer stats. Tommy G with five hits. 
four RBIs, two strikeouts for a contribution of 44%. Pete Jay with five hits, one home run, three RBIs, and five strikeouts for a contribution of 56%. Nice game, Pard. Yes, sir. Teamwork. <laughs> yes. Wow, well, this is a nice post-game show. We we take one from the water bullets, and uh, let's see if we go to our schedule. I forgot even how we did on our first game with those guys. Oh, we beat them 9-3. So, so far, we, we own the water bullets. We, we're dominating yeah. them. Yeah, we've taken this season series. We got one more one more game. Uh would be nice to go for the sweep, but again, I'm sure the water bullets are not going to roll over for us. So <laughs> Yeah, Bender against Rusty Nozzle. Yeah, let's see. Uh, there's some news as we're getting close to the end of the season. Uh, some movement. I'll tell you about the first one here. The Moose. Say, say they signed Chili Little. I always like Chili Little. Chili Little is going to be replacing Jose Tremendo. Wow, that's a big, that's a big move. Tremendo will come back next season, though, with the, with the restructuring. Uh, the 29-year-old Tremendo right fielder outfitter was paid $9.2 million a year. No mostly for his fielding. Great fielder. B plus rank. They take the C minus rank Chili Little. Um, who is only just slightly better at power. Um, he fails everywhere else, but he's the 35 year old's going to make $1.9 million a year to wear the Moose jersey in Detroit. Omar Chumbo gets signed onto the front runners, Tommy, to replace Presley Barrett. Presley Barrett, the 25 year old relief pitcher, A minus ranked. Uh, with uh, average velocity, good junk, and really good accuracy. Not very good hitter. Uh, she's going to get replaced by um, Omar Chumbo, who's a 27-year-old relief pitcher. B-minus ranked. Uh, he's got uh, good velocity, uh, poor junk, poor accuracy, and not a very good hitter at all. But uh, uh, Presley Barrett was making $8,600,000. Omar Chumbo is going to make $900,000 for the last, you know, few games of the season yeah with the front runners uh and at the top here the sirloin sign huck and duck replacing amazo hayes amazo hayes the a minus rank a lot a lot of money getting money back on these with a minus rank yeah. crazy junk 99 junk k man a 26 year old uh, relief pitcher was making 9.8 million dollars a year they're gonna pick up amazo hey uh no huck and duck who's 36 year old relief pitcher uh he's He's worse in all the pitching stats. He's a better power hitter and better contact. He's a better hitting pitcher. He's going to make uh, $900,000 to finish out his season in St. Louis. Uh, let's see if we go to uh, player development. I don't think I don't know if we have anything. Um... Well, we didn't do the uh, we didn't do the news last time from the last game, and oh, I've got I've got some news for you. Oh yeah, well, what do you got? Sterling Jones offended an overdog's coach. And was replaced by, wait for it, Tats Belfour. Tats! Oh, wow. Tats is playing with the overdogs. How do we miss that? How do we miss that? Uh, we didn't that... do that. We didn't. You know, oh, wow. There's going to be a lot of news now toward the end of the season. Every game, there's going to be a lot of All a right. lot of movement. Way to go, Tats. Way to go, Tats. All right. Good to see Tats back in. Yeah. And then uh, Masha Donga. Wow. Offended a wide loads close replaced by Uriel Jackson. Masha Donga. 32-year-old shortstop infielder, $9.6 million a year. Uh, it's, it's Uriel Jackson, 38-year-old third baseman. Uh, he's better at speed. At more speed, he's going to make $2.6 million a year. We got a new player development uh, available batting practice oh. for Freddie Knox, and God knows he needs it. New training opportunities available for Freddie Knox for $870,600. He can get a plus four on his contact. contact with a 15% chance of gaining plus 14. He also gets a 5% chance to gain good connection versus right-handed pitching. And the Sirloins uh, signs Tracy Wickers, replacing Momo Tobo. Momo Tobo, the 37-year-old catcher, uh, known mostly for his fielding in his arm. $4.9 million a year. Uh, Tracy Wickers, C-ranked, uh, 34-year-old catcher. Um, it's better at power hitting and speed. She'll make $2.1 million a year to be a sirloin. Yeah, so good uh, good on you there, Pete. Uh, real quick, take a look at the standings for the wild cards. Uh, the B-Wolves are still in there. I, I don't think we're going to get first place. I think we got to go for that wild card right now. We got a two and a half game lead against the Herbisaurs. So, wow, talk about some big games coming up. 
Yeah, exactly. It's good. Those last two games of the season, the way it's shaping up, may be a battle for the wild card. Oh, 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 oh wow. Oh, I tell you. And I, you know, I, we take two against the water bullets. That makes me awful nervous about, you know, yeah. this next game. They, they tend to play like caged animals when they're threatened with being swept for the season. I yeah, they do. You're absolutely right. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up here then from Phoenix. We got uh, two more home games. We're going to host these uh, water bullets the next game. Close out the series with them. Hopefully get another win. And then uh, we host the St. Louis uh, Hot Corners before heading out to the road for those final two games. So uh, until we see you next time, this here is Tommy G. And this here is PJ. And we are saying, get out of here.